Hey everybody, welcome to the Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. Wow, what a huge win for the Devils tonight. You know, not after having not played 15 or 16 days, after having almost the whole team on the protocol list, and um, missing so much time from, from games, having games postponed, the Devils put a really strong effort in, line after line tonight, and, um, you know, made it tough for the Rangers. It was a tough, edgy win that they played. A lot of the lines played well. I like a lot of the combinations that they put together in this game. And we had a lot of key players out, as usual. You know, we haven't had a full roster since we started the season. But, um, you know, it was an interesting way that they put together the lines. And a lot of the lines worked. So, um, it was a fun game to watch. I was worried going into this game. It could have went either way. You know, I was watching a lot of the pregame interviews. A lot of the players were saying that some players were fine after having came off the list. And some players still felt lethargic and their energy levels were up and down. So I was curious to see how this game would have went because it honestly could have went either way. But, um, you know, both teams played good. I don't want to take anything away from the Rangers. You know, Shesterkin had a uh, really strong game, made a couple of huge saves, especially that big save on Janssen er very early in the game. And uh, Blackwell. Blackwell, to me, was all over the ice, scored, a, scored the first goal for the Rangers. And, um, you know, every time you heard... Uh, one of the Rangers had the puck. It was always his name that was out there. So, um, you know, both teams played great, but, you know, Devils edged them out 5-2. Um, shots on goal were 37-39 to in favor of the Rangers. And hits were 21-30 to in favor of the Rangers as well. So, um, you know, it was a strong effort for the Devils. I thought each line played well. Uh, the line combinations for this game were uh, Janssen, Hughes, and Bratt. Uh, Sharon Govich, Maltseb, and Palmieri. Uh, Wood, McLeod, and Bastion, Kwokinen, Zaka, and Merkley, uh, Severson, Subban, uh, Smith, Tennyson, and Butcher, and Carrick. So, um, yeah, a lot of those line combinations really worked well. I thought the Hughes line with um, Janssen, Hughes, and Brad played really well, as usual. You know, they have some sort of chemistry with them, three of them, where they can find each other on the ice and know where each other are. So, um, I like the way they played. They had a couple of opportunities to score tonight. Um... Of course, that Wood, McLeod, and Bastion line, they had a couple of opportunities. Wood had a couple of um, a couple of uh, opportunities early in the game where he could have scored. McLeod, towards the end of the game, had a couple of opportunities. And, you know, especially with McLeod, you know, he had a big fight to start this game. I didn't expect him to drop the gloves, but, um, you know, he fought Chris Kreider very early in the game and really set a tone for this game, but felt like he held his own. So, um, you know, then Zaka scored the first goal. Um, on the power play, so hopefully they can keep that up because our specialty, specialty teams haven't been really well uh, this year. Um, you know, he scored a pretty nice goal, and Zaka, to me, was all over the ice. That line combination of Zaka, Kwokin, and Merkley really worked. They had some sort of chemistry together. Kwokin had a huge game, three assists. You know, in 10 games, he's putting forth a pretty strong season. One goal, five assists, six points. He's looking really good out there, and he had some chemistry with Zaka. Zaka, to me, was kind of all over the ice. Um, he had a couple of opportunities to score. Merkley had a goal off of a pass from Kwokinen. So that line worked. I Hopefully they could keep it together for a couple of lines and keep up that pace that they did tonight. Um, Butcher was inserted into the lineup tonight. He had a strong game, scored a goal, and um, you know looked pretty solid out there. Uh, Blackwood had um, 37 saves after having not played for a very long time. And, of course, typical Blackwood fashion. Gave us the win, kept us in the game, made huge saves. And I've said that many a times in every single video. But he looked really solid in his return too. Sharon Govich scored um, the game-winning goal off a deflection off the Subban shot. Great goal. Um, need Sharon Govich to get going. He, he looked really strong, kind of tethered off a little bit. But, um, you know, he had a strong game tonight as well. Um, Maltsev, he, he played pretty well. Um, scored his first NHL goal in an empty net. But, um, you know, I like, I like the way he plays as well. You know, he's been in and out of the lineup. But um, when he has played, he's a big center. He takes up a lot of ice. Um, he plays a good two-way game. You know, he plays a dependable, reliable game. But when he's out there, you notice him. So um, he's got a bit of a scoring touch. He's got a, he has had a couple of shots on goal here and there. But he looks pretty good out there. So um, it's going to be really tough to see once we have a full lineup who comes out of this lineup. Um, of course, it's going to be Maltsev or Merkley or, you know, one of McLeod or Bastion once, um, once we have a full lineup, but it's going to be tough to take any of these players out of the lineup. They've all made a strong case to stay and they've all played really well, especially in this game, you know, Kwokinen with the big game, um, 
McLeod and Bastion, they always look good together. Maltsev had a big game. Sharon Govich played well. So, you know, with whoever was missing tonight, he sure, you know, Lindy Ruff gave an update and said that, um, you know, once he's off the list, he's going to be... Uh, he's going to be playing, you know, he's been progressing pretty well. And, um, you know, he feels that once he's off the list, he can be inserted into the lineup. So um, I'm sure once he comes in, Maltsev may come come out. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm curious to see when uh, he sure plays. Could he possibly play Thursday against the Bruins? That'd be awesome. You know, having him could possibly help Palmieri's game come back to form. So we need he sure in this lineup. But the players who have been in there for now have really played really well. So, um, you know, it's really good to see him on the verge of coming back. You know, Gusev was out today. Kulikov was out. Zajac, um, Vatanen, Murray was out. And it wasn't, an, I think it was, they said illness, but it wasn't an illness that was related to, you know, COVID and everything. And Kangelosi. Kangelosi didn't call the game. Kenny Albert stepped in for this game and um, called it with Danico. But, you know, hopefully everything's okay with Steve Kangelosi. And the remaining members on this list, I hope everything's okay with them and they can come back and, you know, come back and play or come back and call the games whenever they're healthy. So, um, you know, it was a strong effort. The Devils played. Every line played really well. And, um, you know, it was a great game. Great game to watch. Of course, nerve-wracking when you play against the Rangers. It's always one of those back-and-forth games. Uh, it's very rarely a blowout. But, um, you know, it was very tight throughout the game until Sharon Govich scored. Then after that, the Devils kind of took over. So, Great game to watch. What did you think? What did you guys and girls think? Comment below and let me know. And as always, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Smash that like button. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to the Hockey Skate Down. Join our hockey team. Have a great rest of the day. Have a great night. Take it easy and stay safe.